Hello, great patriots. Thank you so much for joining us here at the newsroom. And today we have some breaking international news. And this comes courtesy of GoldenStateTimes.com. Again, that's www.GoldenStateTimes.com. And it says Mexico files second lawsuit against arm dealers in the United States. Now, Mexico is blaming that these arm dealers are the reason why there's so much gun violence in Mexico, when in reality, who they should go after is Obama, because Obama is the one that facilitated all of these illegal gun flow into Mexico. No one is to blame other than this guy, but they don't want to do that. Why? Because the Mexican government is in bed with the Democrats here in the United States. And they don't dare get near this guy because they know that is not good for them. So this comes courtesy of GoldenStateTimes.com and it says the Mexican government. No, no let, let me rephrase that. The corrupt Mexican government filed another lawsuit on Monday against U.S. companies it claims are responsible for the flow of illegal weapons into Mexico. Do they mention Obama? Do they mention Fast and Furious? No, they do not. It says the first lawsuit, which was recently dismissed, again, because it's stupid, tweeted, I'm sorry, targeted U.S. gun manufacturers. The second, which Foreign Affairs Secretary Marcelo Embrard said it was filed in Arizona Monday. Arizona is very interesting that they're filing it there. Why? Because in Operation Fast and Furious, where did it take place? None other than Arizona. It took place in Arizona. But we'll get back to that in a second. And they said in a statement, quote, we are suing them because clearly there is a pattern. We contend that it is obvious that there is weapons trafficking and that there is known that the guns are going to our country. Again, Operation Fast and Furious, completely linked back to Obama. Obama created it. Obama nurtured it and Obama gave so many guns that have now killed hundreds, if not hundreds of thousands of people in Mexico in the last 2007, 15 years. And it was all because of Obama. It goes on to say that Embrard promised last week that the new lawsuit will target gun shops or dealers in the U.S. border state who sell guns to straw purchasers. Again, Operation Fast and Furious, who has passed them to, on to smugglers and who then take the weapons into Mexico. And Brard said that 60% of the weapons seized in Mexico in recent years were believed to have been sold in, two, in 10 U.S. counties, mostly along the border. Mexico is very strict when it comes to weapons and weapon possession, the drug cartels violence has caused hundreds of thousands of lives in the country in recent years. So it says that Embrard said last week in an appearance before the Mexican Senate, and he said, quote, we are going to show that many of these outlets were where they sell these products in the in the counties I mentioned are dealing with straw purchasers and criminal charges have to be brought. Okay, so let's pause there for a second. And let's go back in time to the time the, that Obama, the Dark Ages, the Middle Ages, or whatever you want to call it, when Obama was president. And we had something that was called, was later called Fast and Furious. But before that, it was called Operation Gun Runner. Operation Gun Runner. Okay. So now, what was Operation Gun Runner? Well, if you guys remember, if not, I'll refresh a little bit of your memory. Operation Gun Runner facilitated the straw purchasers to be able to get any weapon they want. Why? Because they said, well, if we sell these people guns, most likely they're going to get they're going to end up in the hands of the cartel or the high end of the cartel, let's say 50 caliber weapons. And then we'll be able to, quote unquote, uh, arrest the 
cartel members and arrest the cartel heads and all this other crap. And that never came into fruition. The only thing that happened out of this is that these networks started to be built. So Obama built these networks between straw purchasers here in California, in, in different states. But this, for instance, this one in Arizona, he created a network of gun smuggling from the state of Arizona into Mexico. And we're talking about all kinds of guns. We're not talking about just handguns or anything. We're talking about a huge amount of guns. It says that back in 2016, they found a hidden compartment, a hidden tunnel that belonged to drug kingpin Joaquin El Chapo Guzman, where they found a massive thousands upon thousands upon thousands of 50 caliber rifles capable of stopping a car or shooting down a helicopter or that originated now those thousands of guns thousands of 50 caliber caliber rifles originated from Fast and Furious. Operation Fast and Furious, something that Obama created. It's Obama's baby. They found them there. They were never, maybe El Chapo didn't tell his crew where, where he hit them, but he stockpiled thousands of 50 caliber weapons. And those were not the only ones. They found everything there, fully automatic AR-15s, M-16s. They found Uzis, fully automatic handguns. They found all kinds of weapons in that stash. Now let's go back to this second lawsuit. And like Embraer said, 60% of the weapons seized in Mexico in recent years were believed to have been sold in Arizona. Holdovers. From Fast and Furious. Because those networks are still very much alive today. The networks that Obama created through Fast and Furious are functioning today. It says a recently enacted U.S. law defines straw purchasing as a crime. And sets, and sets out sentences as much as 15 to 25 years. If the offense is related to drug trafficking, which 100% of them is or are. The announcement comes several days after the U.S. federal, a US federal judge dismissed Mexico's first lawsuit against U.S. Against US gun manufacturers. And Brard said that Mexico would appeal that decision. The judge ruled that Mexico's claim did not overcome the broad protection provided to gun manufacturing by the Protection of Law, Commerce, and Arms Act of 2005. The law shields gun manufacturers from damages resulting from the criminal or unlawful misuse of a firearm. So gun manufacturers manufacture the weapon. How that weapon is used is up to the person that purchases it. It's just the way that it is. The same way that I can't go and sue mcdonald's or burger king if i eat two or three hamburgers a day every single day for years and it says oh well it clogged my arteries i can't sue them for that i went out there and i purchased it they didn't put a gun to my head and told me yeah I purchase my hamburgers right now every single day three times a day breakfast lunch and dinner no gun manufacturers manufacture guns that is their job that is what they do. That's what they're in business of. It is not their fault. If anyone is to blame for all of these guns ending up in cartel hands in Mexico and them going out and doing all the despicable things that they do, that is all Obama's fault. 
No one is to blame other than Obama. It says Mexico is, is seeking at least $10 billion in compensation. $10 billion for who? For themselves? Are they actually going to go out there and give the people that died at the hands of cartels and their guns money? No, they're not. Mexico is seeking $10 billion from the U.S. or from gun manufacturers. But legal experts have viewed the lawsuit as a long shot. It's not a long shot. It's moot. These lawsuits are worthless. They're going to get thrown out because gun manufacturers have no fault on what happens to the gun after they leave their facility. The Mexican government estimates 70% of the weapons trafficked into Mexico come from the U.S., according to a foreign affairs ministry. It said that in 2019 alone, at least 17,000 17, homicides in Mexico were linked to trafficked weapons. Again, from Operation Fast and Furious, Obama's baby. So let us know what you guys think about this whole situation. Will Obama ever get charged for creating, facilitating, and embracing Operation Fast and Furious? Will judgment ever come for Obama for all of the, th the deaths that he did, that he facilitated? Let me know in the comment section below because these two lawsuits should not be targeted towards arm manufacturers, gun manufacturers. It should be targeted towards Obama. But that is a long shot. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. And if you guys found this report informative, going back in history a little bit of what happened, where did it, this all start? The root of the problem, it all comes down to Obama. But let us know what you guys think in the comment section below. What do you guys think about this lawsuit? Is it going to get thrown out like the first one? What do you guys think about the figure? $10 billion Mexico wants from gun manufacturers. They're crazy. They should get $10 billion from Obama. But let us know what you guys think about this whole situation in the comment section below. And make sure that you guys check out our website, goldenstatetimes.com. Again, that's www.goldenstatetimes.com. And stay tuned because we're going to be uploading a whole bunch of videos today on everything that has to do from Russia, from uh, Kanye West going crazy again, um, this whole situation about Mexico suing gun manufacturers, and everything else in between. So make sure you guys join us here at the channel. If you're new to this channel, subscribe, click that notification bell, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Make sure you visit our website, goldenstatetimes.com, and I'll see you soon. Peace.